G'day, welcome to Wash Rider TV. Today we're going to look at repairing chips on the nose of your boat. Um, I did these ones in the Amsterdam Waterland Marathon and uh, doing the famous portage where you bump up onto the grass. Not so good for your boat though. Uh, so if you have a look here, uh, you can see the carbon is exposed on this one and up the top here we've got another nice chip. We're going to use this all-purpose uh, araldite glue or you can use like a two-part epoxy and some tape. Duct tape's alright but it would be better if you could use like a clear cellophane or something like that. So how it's going to work is we're going to actually form a little bit of a mould which will wrap around and we're going to set the glue in there. So to start off we've got to turn the boat on its side. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tape up one side like so and we're just going to edge it up a little bit to create a little bit of a lip in here and we'll do the same with the other one you want to make sure that the base is perfectly sealed if you have little uh, kinks in the tape the glue is going to run out along the tape and then you'll have a nice little vein of glue running out here which you'll have to sand off which just takes time okay so now that you've got the lips grab your glue and we're going to fill it up here Oop, that's probably a bit too much what you're looking to do is you're looking to put enough in there that will cover it and seal it and replace the, uh, the resin which was originally there without leaving an extra bulb. If you get an extra bulb, it means you've got to sand it back. So, we're just going to ease this one off. I might actually wipe that off a little bit with my finger. And then we're going to strap it down tight. Sealing it off. Now the benefit of this is that it's going to seal off and protect the resin which is in there. It's, sorry, it's going to protect the carbon fibre which is already in there. Especially if you're paddling out on the salty stuff, on the salty water. You don't want the resin to be affected, you don't want the cloth to be affected. Okay, now as you can see there's a little bit of a bump here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it out towards the front so it stays inside the spot where it needs to be there'll be a little bit of sanding at the end hopefully not too much okay we're going to do the same with the other one here so we'll dab it in wipe off the excess there okay and then we're going to bend it around again seal it out This one's a bit harder because it's on the angle. That's all right. If it is on a sharp angle, like right on the tip here, what you can also do is cut your tape in half and do a couple of tape strips and that'll actually allow the tape to get around the corner nicely. Using a narrow bit of tape too, that'll do the trick. And now we're gonna leave that to dry. That should set overnight. Tomorrow we'll pull it off or maybe even later this afternoon. And then what will be left is a little bit of a what will be left is a small little bubble of glue, and we can just slightly sand that back with some wet and dry sandpaper, and that'll be the trick. Okay, so we've pulled the tape off after two days now, and you can see that this one here has filled in very nicely, and it's got a slight little bit of depression there. So we might be able to do it again if we want and put the tape over it. The top one here, however it's got a slight little bubble in it and that little bubble will need to be filled in again and we'll just do the same process as we've done in this video again and then we'll keep building it up until it's filled in nicely as with any repair job if you want it done professionally go see your manufacturer for their preferred repairer or they might be able to do it themselves or if you don't have one near you look at a, getting a surfboard manufacturer or a um, yacht repairer 
and they might have the pigments around too and they'll be able to do the job quite easily.